So on screen we have two pages. Uh, at the top you can see this is the first page called search.php and the next tab I've got search result.php. In your case you might have your search box on the index page or in the header of your website. So it appears on every single page. Okay. And based on that box, any search criteria you apply, you can type the keywords in there. And when you hit search, it generally shows a page where we actually see the results of your search contents. Uh, for that purpose, I've got these two separate pages. And I'm assuming my search text field is actually in the search.php page. So here quickly in the search page, I will go to the common, uh, the forms category. Let me insert the search box. So it's a single text field. That's my search form. So let me just rename form ID as search form. The result for the search form means action when you someone hits the search it should go to the search result page. So I'm saying the action of the form should be search result. Here, two important things, uh, as we have discussed quite a bit uh, time, which is the methods, right? We all know that there are two methods which we can use uh, in terms of designing your form, the post method and the get method. The get method sends values through the URL as a URL parameter, okay? And if it is a form method, it sends the values in the form through the, as a form or as a body of your website. So understanding these two methods are quite important because search techniques, uh, the criteria of filtering changes based on what methods you have used. So initially only I'm explaining you because we have done that earlier, right? I assume you all know in clear what form methods do, get and post, okay? For this example, I've got the form method as, let's say just one single text field, so I'm changing it to get. That's my action, that's my search form as my ID. Method is get, target and encoding type we don't need. So that's my form, and inside these red parameters of the form, I'm going to simply add one single text field. ID for this text field is important, so I'm just writing, let's say, a search box. Okay. Label, if you don't want to give, is fine, because um, normally search text boxes appear just as a single text field. Okay, But if you still want, you can just give a search label as search music. And that's how my text field appears. We've got a label, a text field. You can highlight the text field and change its parameters. Uh, I can change its width to, let's say, 50 pixels. And I get a longer text field I want to. Okay. Next to the search box, I'm going to add a form button. We don't need any label for the forms. And the button's value, I'm going to change to such pretty simple so the actual search page where we have the text field make sure you actually give the form name that means form id action of the page and the method of the page or for the form all right that's the only three important things and then when you insert the text field make sure the text field has the particular id as well because both of these things are important With these values let me just save this. And now what we want to show is actually with our localhost database, we are going to create a search page where in the search field, someone will type, let's say, what informations we have. I just want to give a facility where someone types the type of the music. As you can see in the database, we got different types, jazz, country, and there is some hip hop category. So if someone types in my search, jazz as a type word, and they hit search, my search result 
should only show the dynamic record set with the artist music titles and values only for that particular type category so it's a little bit of extension to what we have done earlier in the first part we have learned how to create a record set means a query and display all the values dynamically in a table so here also we're going to create a dynamic record set but this time it will only show the values which you are typing in the search box so with more dynamic connectivity between the form and the database right? so search page it has a text field and search results to display here let's just go and create some connection so i think connection is already there so nothing to worry about server behavior create a record set query i'm just renaming my query as search record set same connection same table and in the search result you can either show all the records or you can just pick as many things you want to show as a result okay that depends on your designing and the client request so if i want to show um, the music id title artist type of the music i don't want to show maybe ratings uh, maybe price so i just want to show these many columns in my result page okay if i don't want music id also i just don't need that i just want to show the title artist music type and the price as a result of my web page okay now here these are the columns we want to select and in the filter you have to drop down and select based on what you want to create your search criteria in a simple environment we can only pick one filter at a time okay now i want to only give a facility where they can only type the type of the music and only based on that means if someone types any value from the type column based on that only our search engine will work if someone trying to search based on the music artist name it won't work so we'll have to create separate record set for that okay but for time being we are only creating our search engine for the website based on the type okay so when i go to the record set i have to filter my criteria based on which column so i'm going to say the type column okay because my search engine is designed around music type column the filter is type equals now here in the third box we have various options means we can either select the url parameters or there's a different options there which were form variable cookies and session variables so there are a lot of things we can do but at this level we can use first two variables now these options which you have to select here depends on when you design the search form what was the method of your form all right so when i've designed this search form what was the method we choose we chose get method if you remember and get transfers the values to the server from the url okay so if you are designing the search feature if in the previous page if you have used get as a method for the form here in the filter you should select url parameter as the criteria if in the search page my form has post as a method then in the filter of the query you should use form variable as a criteria now pretty much based on these four boxes depends whether your search page works or not if you keep getting errors if a search doesn't work you have to get back and sort all these connections form name form methods and everything okay now because we have used get method in the previous thing i'm going to use here url parameter and in the type we have to actually type the name or id of your text field so what was the id if you remember the search box when i've inserted the text field in the id i've inserted it as the search box id so in the type you should actually type 
search box. So whatever ID you give for your text field, that ID should go here. Okay. So in a quick revision, in the filter, based on what column you want to give search engine criteria, equal to sign in the next box. Based on the search text field form, whatever the method was, if it is get, the third box should say URL parameter. And if the method of the form is post, the parameter should say here form variable. Okay. And the last box here, it should be the name of your search text field or ID of your text field. Now, if anything wrong here, your search page will not work. Okay. The sorting option is optional means once the search page will display the results, how you want to display those results in ascending order based on which column. So that's up to you. But if I want, I can pick here sorting of my search result should be based on the price ascending order. So I'll show the lowest record first and then the highest record. So this is the overall search page criteria. If I just go to the test, you can type any value from your types column. So we have three values, jazz, hip hop, or country. So let me just try country. If I type country, it should only show me one, two, three, four, five. It should only show me five results in my search result page. Okay. So if I just test that, there you go. It only shows five. Okay. If you want to try it, you can again test it. This time you can try hip hop. It shows you five category for hip hop. Okay. If you try test for uh, jazz, it shows me. So our search engine is functioning. Okay. In terms of the test, if I'll go back and say okay, okay for my query. Now, so far, we have just done the query, okay, by choosing all those options. Now, in order to display those search results, which we just tested and I've shown you, in the search result page here, we have to actually show them in a table. Now, either you do custom level, which I explained to you earlier, or we can just simply add the dynamic record set. Okay, I'm just going to quickly show you dynamic record. So, I'm going back to the inserts data inside a dynamic table for search. I want to show zero border, padding five, all the records. And the query is search record set. It shows like that. If you want, you can just make a little bit tweaking here. Yeah, you can show some colors just to quickly differentiate. save this page. Now to do the testing, we can't jump to the search page straight away because the query should come from the search page, not the search result page. So if I test search page and here in the box, if I type category jazz in search result, I see the dynamic table now, which shows result based on my search criteria. Okay, if I go back and try a different category for hip hop, the dynamic table is changing the search. So in your exam, we expect you to do this. Show the search page with the basic search criteria. If you want to add additional records and types, it's up to you. But we want to see this feature has installed in your website uh, project. Okay.